Hi guys, today we talk about DPF and problem. It is so many issue. Probably if you watch that one, you need information to try find. So if you have engine light and DPF on the dash and you lost power, check oil level. If your engine oil level go up very quick, very crazy, one month ago you have minimum and now over maximum. I am guarantee it's this is problem for DPF. Why this is happen? You have DPF here, engine. How your car burn this DPF? Need heat up. Your engine fuel injector give them more fuel throttle valve slightly close and one injection it is no burn go through to the dpf and hit burn inside this moment if you have the problem and you see level oil go crazy up this mean car try burn DPF fuel injector more injection fuel fuel come in but it is block so in this distance start be too much too much fuel and car can burn so piston go up here all the time many many fuel grab 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 so this is easy you know it's problem for DPF you need to take out send to wash and install don't buy China one you remember DPF then be smaller smaller DPF uh, many more time uh, regeneration would be no good for your engine so many time uh, I have um, question about uh, you look my DPF burn suit for five grams should be all right. Why my car still don't want to go? Because pressure. You see, if your engine, your DPF have high pressure, I'm showing you on the VCDS, high pressure, this means it is block. It's burn, but block. That's why you have a problem. High pressure problem DPF. Very quick, your suit go up. Problem for engine. This is possibility as well. You have pressure and high suit. So first you need send uh, send DPF to wash. Then install and check. Before install, very important. Check can your engine no consume oil. This means how turbo condition. If you see many many oil in your turbo, this possibility that why you have a problem for DPF as well PC valve. I think it's this is called PC valve. When engine work, it's pesting some gas come down. It must go out this gas because demolition you lose every seal in engine if you know what I mean so PC valve if broke then you have so many leak and possibility your your uh, engine leak or you have oil in turbo if block when engine work tap oil cap take off if you out it is no problem if you feel suction and you can pull the cup this means it's PCV valve that or pipe and you have so many oil from PCV valve this as well you have problem consumption oil so before you install new DPF 
check this one because when your car burn oil this is no make a suit make ash but ash no bro no burn inside dpf it is block so one issue engine one issue dpf if you see high pressure or oil go up then you have problem for DPF. If you see so many suit and even your car, you plug on the computers uh, burn now and you see it's your ash or your suit go up, 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 but car try the burn DPF. This means it's something wrong for your engine. Everything today I'm show you how check everything in engine. So should be EGR valve. So so many can you have issue. That why uh, I'm show you everything. And uh, today step by step use BCDS. Of course, if you have OBD 11. And you see this number, what I'm saying, it's absolutely fine because uh, this is car, give you numbers, no um, tools. Tools just read the numbers, uh, so and uh, everything step by step. I'm show you how to diagnose that guy because uh, it is quite a problem. So many comment, ask, question. As well, you possibility have crack DPF, so and then DPF no heat. Come to car, come to car, and uh, we take VCDS. All right, so VCDS, <coughs> sorry, VCDS, and we check step by step. So, like I'm saying before, it is pressure, DPF pressure, say about how condition it is your DPF and suit our engine this moment uh, VCDS and we check in my car suit and pressure my car it's all right and not have problems so that's uh, but uh, I don't have that moment cars would break down but uh, every number that I'm told you this is possibly as well your DPF it's crack this mean it is uh, suit pressure okay but uh, your dpf no heat step by step so first uh, suit and uh, and uh, suit and pressure bcds okay of course engine if you have bcds okay guys next mass value is and we here try find suit and pressure counter and suit measure suit okay guys like you see count and shoot measure shoot between these two numbers it is okay if be cl close or different 10 grams so if you have check engine you check these numbers if you see between two numbers different 10 grams still okay but if you have a measure shoot very high or different and like count and shoot 11 and measure shoot 40 you see it's something wrong so you must go there and check any pipe broke or block if no block or no damage the pipe then you need to change the sensor pressure sensor dpf pressure sensor then best idea do adaptation and uh, everything that blah 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 so adaptation and uh, rest of the numbers okay guys now it's pressure we know suit, count on suit, measure suit. It's absolutely fine. It's between, it's different, 10 grams. My pressure sensor, actually it's new, but uh, it's good pipe, good everything.
we talk about pressure. Pressure should be work between 8 hectopascal and after burn 4 hectopascal. My DPF it's something happened, it's half now 11. It's still okay, no problem, but it is no good. But still work and absolutely no problem. Where is problem? This problem, it is very big problem. It is if you push gas for 3000 RPM and you see here numbers over 60 hectopascal, this means it's your DPF need wash and clean. As well, if this numbers work before 30 hectopascal after burn 15, it is as well no good, but probably your car no tell to light on the dash. So what's happen if you use car when you have quite high pressure in DPF? Possibility your uh, consumption, your um, level oil go up, like I'm saying before, and possibility on the future possibility you have problem for turbo because turbo more work hard to push the gas and you have loose on the inside all right guys so if you have issue oil up or very pressure very high when you take DPF off and send to wash or you buy a new one, check your turbo, PCV valve, any consumption oil. If you take off the DPF, start engine for cold and check can turbo no 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 come oil for turbo because of course if uh, turbo heat then burn oil and you don't see because burn oil this mean ash ash block your dpf so that issue it is your dpf as well your dpf can crack so i'm showing you what's happened if crack okay crack dpf what issue because next it is still we talk about problem dpf high pressure this means it's block because too much ash and then you have crack crack as well it's no good if you have crack then your dpf possibility temperatures no go up if your dpf crack if you switch on regeneration and rpm go up you see it's process start up but you look for temperatures like you see now i don't burn dpf because i'm do small experiment about replace the uh, pressure sensor this is help or no but like you see that one it is on the front and that one it is behind that temperatures between it's different when you burn dpf should be first one this one temperature 600 or 700 celsius if it's lower or this temperature exactly the same this means it's you have crack on dpf then ha probably you think it's my temperature sensor it's break if your temperature sensor break show minus 200 plus 1000 something some crazy numbers no like that one so if you have numbers like this one this means it's your temperature sensor is good no replace the same like i'm saying about pressure sensor if you have 10 grams uh, between uh, count and measure shoot this means no right if you have very very high different this means it's possibility you have problem for this one okay guys another thing how check do your dpf crack break or something wrong we need to go to back the car 
Okay, guys, we go to back my car. We need to put thing else inside and check. So, like you see, guys, my DPF it is tired, but still work. That's why I'm no change. So, and uh, if you see, guys, so many dust suit over there this means it's your DPF it's dead if you have car white car and <laughs> so many and you see it's so many dust come from there you have problem for DPF no engine so and you need to replace DPF because that's no wash sometimes people wash and put on and still no right and so many time regeneration so replace CGR, replace uh, throttle valve clean intake uh, replace everything and still you have problems so many time so many time uh, regeneration so this is possibility your DPF uh, crack or break inside so uh, then you need to replace as well it is no good if your car every 200 kilometers 100 kilometers so many time regeneration because this is no good for engine this is no good for turbo because where is turbo temperature come for 750 celsius so it's no good no good and uh, possibility your dpf crack so okay guys like you see it's crack or high pressure you see every numbers you see pressure should be between 4 air 8 if you have more it is no perfect but no good if you push gas for 3000 rpm i cannot do that because my car say no but hopefully you know you see very high over 60 this means it's your dpf need wash and should be engine all right if you see dirt or temperatures when you burn dpf it is exactly the same this mean it is crack or break dpf this is possibility it's uh, some owner drill the hole before between and hope this is help because my dpf block and then you have the same issue i heard stories this is possibility some guys drill the hole and should be help but uh, i'm never see so and uh, anyway if you see the same temperature for uh, three and four temperature sensor this mean it's your half DPF problem. Okay guys, now I issue engine and your DPF cannot burn what your engine produce. This means it is so many suit. You start process burn DPF, but you see suit go up, but your car try burn DPF. This means it's your engine possibility. Your fuel injector, quantity deviation go this way we check what issue EGR give you throttle valve why throttle valve it's that important because throttle valve let's go all right EGR issue but issue we don't talk about EGR uh, cooling it's possibly leak and you have uh, cooling exhaust we talk about uh, today what issue give you for DPF so first one it is possibility your DPF uh, sorry your EGR that when is lock soon I'm show you everything in for VCDS it's lock if EGR lock and you drive, probably you have check engine on the dash and you drive and you feel little lot power, little lot, like 
something that. Next one, it is danger for your DPF. It's die or no lock full. A little bit open. Then it's uh, too much uh, gas, too much to go to DPF, and your DPF no manage ban. If you see, uh, you know, should go up. But to another possibility, you have if that it's quite open. Possibility you lost power, and when you want to drive engine that you start again you won't try drive eh. too much gas come to engine no air that why happen and that when is full open full open it's mean it's just gas come to your engine and your engine no start you can use use vtcds to check this one Okay, VCDS, like you see, that percent say how much open. If you press gas, you see 100. 100. 100, this means it's 100, it is your EGR close. If you put here VCDS and you see just 100, you press the pedal and 100 this means it's EGR dead if you see press button and no come to 100 this means it's probably your valve it's open so EGR done we go to next one okay fuel injector how check fuel injector in my car we have uh, quantum deviation fuel injector quantum deviation I know it's this is no perfect uh, if you have double flywheel it's knock this is possibility your quantum deviation <laughs> wrong yeah but quantum deviation tells you how your fuel injector condition is so if your fuel injector leak give too much fuel your DPF have problem because this injector built a lot suit if you see it's should go up when you burn DPF go there because this is possibility as well as well if copper washer and the gun then this cylinder lost the pressure and fuel injector give more fuel and just copper washer 50 penny couple hours work and your issue gone looks for bcd okay guys quantum deviation like you see my fuel injector absolutely perfect i'm used the one time on the else the cleaner last time i'm show how we use uh, the fuel injector cleaner for liquid from liquimori my uh, quantum deviation absolutely great but if you guys have here over two plus or minus this mean it's your fuel injector this is so bad possibility you have five always if you have plus two plus five plus four or whatever you go to that fuel injector so plus mean it's possibility copper washer or your fuel injector it's bad you can try wash cleaner use the cleaner and clean this one would give you plus make too much soot and uh, your car cannot make the barn because too much soot and uh, should happen if fuel injector go to minus, I'm sorry my friend, but you must replace the fuel injector. I think it's that much about fuel injector and quantum deviation. It's one more possibility now it's everything perfect, but when you press gas, 
and you then have one for five and come back for normal plus five plus two this means as well fuel injector it must be replaced okay guys throttle valve i don't know how check throttle valve uh, but possibility you have cut engine it's throttle valve uh, but then you replace or uh, have a look how condition how dirt it is sometimes it's very dirt very very dirt and uh, it is almost block anyway open but dirt remember it's more gas from recirculation valve EGR less air more fuel mean it's more suit more suit your problem DPF so throttle valve take off have a look how dirt is because in Euro 5 engine Audi Volkswagen it is a clap and go suit on the throttle valve or push if you push and flappy open and close open and close easily it's everything all right if you push and lock or something wrong this one then you need to replace throttle valve okay guys intake vcd has no help but i'm warranty if you have diesel engine after 150,000 kilometers 80,000 mile your intake it's dirt and as well some intake have uh, swill flap swill flap it is some flappy puppy in the intake this mean it's this intake when this flappy puppy open or close uh, depends how gas you push yeah why and for what this is when your air come to cylinder swill flap make and your air go round when fuel injector fuel mix perfect inside the cylinder before burn and you have less soot as well if you have dirty intake this means it's less hole you have like this one dirty engine dirty intake make it's your hole smaller this means it's your have less air more fuel less air more fuel mean it's more soot more soot it's more dust dirt in your intake again and possibility your dpf have the problem so take off wash put again wash the throttle valve adaptation should be perfect for next 80,000 mile 150,000 kilometers 19,000 kilometer mile something that okay glove plugs if you have issue and cut on the dash glove plugs replace because glove plugs when your DPF burn it is on glove plugs it is a funny thing because help you just start engine because diesel don't need spark or something that need heat when piston go up heat the air that temperatures when fuel come it's burn if your engine hot your glove plugs no work but when your car burn dpf switch on and every 60,000 kilometers 40,000 miles should be replaced the glove plugs because uh, in the future you have problem you won't replace and cease and you break easy so mm, glove plugs remember guys all right guys i think last thing it's a thermostat um, i had uh, one time bmw when uh, car don't want regeneration the filters um, and i'm see it's temperature lower it's 70 celsius and all the time when i start uh, won't burn dpf it stop before replace the uh, thermostat replace thermostat uh, car start burn dpf uh, no problem but another issue what can give you thermostat in diesel engine it is slow kill your dpf what means slow kill 
You see, it's uh, everything that what I'm saying, it's, it's ecology. This means it's your diesel engine when when your uh, drive and your engine cold try be eco this means it's uh, more fuel on the cold engine and if you you want heat your engine and want heat your catalytic convector dpf because then your system start work when your catalytic convector even uh, AdBlue if you have AdBlue no work if uh, catalytic convector it's no 450 Celsius so then no uh, injection AdBlue or uh, catalytic uh, no really work so if you see 80 and you drive all the time for 80 you kill slow down your dpf you kill slow down dpf because it's more fuel this is more suit more suit this mean it's your dpf uh, more work more time regeneration and uh, more more issue for for that all right guys i think it's that finish i tell uh, about probably everything so and um, hope that video help you and remember guys passion love family just back family see ya